Hi everyone, Abhishek here and welcome to Key to Blocking. And in this video, I will show you how you can use the Rank Math Content AI feature in your WordPress website. And as you can see, Rank Math AI helps you improve your content by suggesting focus keywords, suggested keywords, or it also show you how to add more FAQ sections. And it also show you the ad competition, volume, CPC data. So let's check how you can use the Rank Math Content AI feature in your WordPress website. So for this, you have to go to your WordPress dashboard and go to the rank math and click on the dashboard here and make sure to select the advanced mode here and here you will see a option called content AI. So make sure to enable this and just click on settings. Now it will ask you to select the country. So you can use worldwide or you can select your country. So let me just select it to worldwide and here you can select the post type so i will tick all and here you will see the credits so how many credit left so in free version you will get some limited credits and you can also upgrade it to more credits so let me just go to the blog post and let's check how you can use the rank math content ai so let me just open existing blog post that i have already published so the blog post is about email marketing and to use the content AI you have to click on the rank math icon here and here you will see a option called content AI. So just click on it and you have to add your focus keyword here. So as this blog post is about email marketing. So let me just select the focus keyword email marketing and click on research. So it will take some time to fetch the search result. So let's wait for some time. Okay, Rank Math has already generated the report and it will show how many words the blog post has or you can also check the word count by just clicking on this button and it will show the word count here. And here you will see the document outline or the heading outline. So here also give the word count and here you will can see the link count so just click on the arrow button and it will show how many internal link and how many external link in this blog post so you can see the total number of links in the internal and external section now let's click on heading count so just click on this arrow button and it will show how many h2 tags or how many h3 h4 tags used in that content and you can also click on the media count option and it will show how many images or how many videos used in the blog post. So as you can see, I have not used any video in this blog post. So let me just quickly go to YouTube and copy a email marketing video. So I will just go to the YouTube and in the search field, I will type like email marketing. And I can get a video from here. So let's choose a video from here so i will choose this one from hopspot so i will copy the link and i will just click on the plus icon and i will search for youtube and i will click on youtube here and i will paste the link and click on embed so as you can see the video is added and it is now showing there is one video and it will also improve the score a little bit and as you can see these are the keywords that i have to mention in this blog post and the green one is showing the keyword is used in the blog post and when you hover this it will show the ad competition cpc and volume data now it is asking to use these keywords so let me just copy this one email marketing tips and i can simply put this keyword in this blog post so i can simply use here the keyword in the beginning so let's check some email marketing tips in this article so i have mentioned this keyword and as you can see this section is turned green so in this way you can use different keywords and target different keyword in this search result now you can use the use keyword in the sections so you can select content to heading so it will ask you to add this keyword in the heading and then you can select the seo title 
so seo title basically the title that you have added here and this is the seo description so let's click on content ai and here you can select seo description so it will ask you to add this keyword in the seo description now scroll down and it will show some related keywords so you can also include this keyword if possible and let's click on question option and it will show some questions to include in the blog post and you can directly copy this data as a faq block so just copy this and let me just scroll down and if you are using the rank math faq block then you can simply type slash and you can search for faq and click on the rank math faq and let me just copy it and let me just paste it so just copy this option and you can paste it like this and just click the second option and you can paste the faq block like this or you can use the accordion block if you are using the cadence block plugin so let me just quickly remove this faq block and you can also link out to some external resources but here you will not get some good ideas because it is asking to link to a pdf link and it is asking to a government website so let me just open the link here so it will show different blog post rank math ai is not that good in terms of suggesting the external link but it will show some good keywords and question suggestion in this field but if you want to purchase the rank math pro version just because of content ai then it is not worth it but if you want to improve your seo then rank math pro will definitely help you with that and i hope you got the idea how the rank math ai content ai will works and how to use it on your blog and if you have any questions regarding this then you can ask me in the comment section and if this content is helpful to you then hit the like button and do subscribe key to blogging Thank you.